Hey there, my name is Daryl Woods. I work at Adult Services at Hollywood St. Paul's, and this is 10 Quick Facts About Astronomy. I've got a bonus fact before we begin. May 15th is Astronomy Day, uh, but it's actually one of two astronomy days that we have every year. The other one is in autumn, so there's not too many uh, holidays that we celebrate twice a year. Number one, the earliest astronomers were not sailors. They were farmers who relied upon the changing night sky to indicate when to plant and when to harvest. Number two, officially there are 88 constellations. 48 of which were originally recorded by the Greek astronomer Ptolemy back in the year 150. The last constellations were not established until the 1750s. Seeing we've now charted the entire sky, there will be no more constellations. Of those 88 constellations, 42 of them are named after animals, 29 are inanimate objects, and only 17 are humans or mythological characters. Number four, a quarter of the constellations begin with the letter C. Number five, there's actually a 13th astrological constellation, Ephiacus, the serpent bearer. Number six, the Big and Little Dippers are not constellations. They are asterisms because they are a grouping of stars that make up larger constellations. Number seven, most of us never get to see the constellations in the Southern Hemisphere. Some of the most noteworthy of that half of the sky include the crane, the peacock, the rabbit, the fly, the toucan, the chameleon, and the bird of paradise. There's even something called dark cloud constellations in the Southern Hemisphere that are made up of the dark patches that occur in the great rift of the Milky Way. They are patterns made up more from the obscurance of stars rather than the presence of them. Number nine, the largest constellation is Hydra, and it comprises over 3% of the total sky. The smallest is Crux, also known as the Southern Cross. It takes up more, uh, less than two one thousandths of the sky. Both of these are found in the Southern Hemisphere. And lastly, there's only one star in the Milky Way that isn't considered a part of a constellation, our sun. So I want to thank uh, you guys for listening, and I want to thank Maya for creating these um, nice slides, collecting these uh, awesome images. She does a great job every week, and I appreciate her. And if you appreciated this, I think you'll also appreciate our virtual trivia night. It takes place every Thursday at 8 p.m. on Facebook. You can simply go to the URL that we have listed here or go to Facebook and type in virtual trivia night and you should be able to find us. So thank you for watching and until next time, enjoy yourself.